Hey everyone, it's me, Garrett Zima from Halloween Manti, and today I'm gonna do a video that I probably owe you guys to do. Um, a lot of people have been commenting and hitting me up through Instagram. By the way, my Instagram Instagram is Garrett Zima, all one word, G A R R E T T Z I M A, and I mainly post there. So if you're wondering, you know what I've been doing. Go to my Instagram, it's where I post the most um, of Chucky stuff or whatever I'm doing. Um, I just finished up a very successful year at a haunted voyage. This is a haunted house that I run and it was just mind blowing. Um, the attendance was great. We got a lot of great reviews for the show. We um, got number one in our region in Wisconsin. So it was really cool. So anywho, we're gonna talk about the Good Guy doll from Trick or Treat Studios. So you're wondering what this baldy over here is doing. Well, this is basically what I have right now from the factory in parts. Um, you've probably seen some photos online from Trick or Treat of the complete dolls that have the hair and everything and the eyes. And those are the official, official dolls that were made from the factory. Um, they came to me, I photographed them, I approved them, and then they get sent to where they need to be. So unfortunately for me, I don't have anything right now. So I, I kind of have some parts basically um, of the doll. Um, and I put it, I put these parts together just to kind of give you an idea of what you're gonna get. So you kind of, and then I can kind of elaborate a little bit on what is what. So here is the doll itself. Um, he's, um, the body is made of polyfoam and it has an uh, armature, ball jointed armature inside, so you can uh, pose them, which I found to be really, you know, a lot of people like to pose them. Um, the originals were, you know, fe uh, stuffing and stuff like that, um, but um, for me, I don't know, I just like the posable, and I, and I found a cons through a consensus that most people liked the posable doll. So, cool thing about the doll is it actually has like a little joint in the wrist so you can actually art move the joint just like this and then that you know gets covered up by the cuff here and you know you can kind of go all the way up and do that so anyway like i said this is just parts of one um based on some approved pieces so the head the paint job here has been approved you can see um pretty cool head so this camera, this camera lens is kind of weird. He looks a little weird in the video, but believe me, he looks so good in person. It's one of those things, and uh, it always looks better in person. And um, speaking of in person, um, this coming Saturday uh, in Chicago, Days of the Dead, I'll be there, and I'll have this with me, so you guys can, um, if you're going to that sh that show, you can actually see this in person. I'll let you hold him. I'll let you take a look at him. You can actually see what he looks like. You know. Because it's one of those things when you see it in person, it you know it looks way more solid than it does in pictures. So you know the hands are tinted the same flesh tone obviously as the head, and, and the cool thing about it being tinted in vinyl is that it won't um, scuff up or anything like that. It'll it, the paint won't chip or anything like that. It uh, it stays in pretty good condition probably throughout its whole life, which um, will pretty much be decades. This thing will last pretty long. Um, so, like I said, the eyes aren't in in this particular head and the hair isn't on. The hair is actually right here, so not to fear. Um, I just, the, the weirdest thing is the, the type of glue they put on this, I don't know what type of glue, I imagine I could just use super glue and it'll be fine. But um, they, when we were going through the approval process, they sent me a, sent me a bunch of different heads and so I'd have to pop them on and um, so then I just had hair to look at it. Um, and so. I'm trying to see it. I'm, I'm literally looking at a mirror reflection, so uh, if it doesn't look perfect, you know, it's, you know, I'm sorry about that, but this kind of gives you an idea of what the hair will be. Um, but yeah, the, the wigs are pretty cool. They actually were able to match um, the dye or the close to the dye um, of the wigs, and the wigs are pretty cool. Uh, it reminds me just, it reminds me of, um, I used to have one of the Child's Play 2 wigs, which is the same color as the Child's Play 1 wig. Um, but I had a full wig that the puppet would actually wear and this is made pretty much identically, which is really cool uh, So it's real corduroy overalls 
Um, this particular model is being, in a sense, in the factory, they're changing some things. So what's happening is you might notice that the red is a little light. It's on the lighter side and they're gonna make it more of a real, like a bold red, you know, a flat red or whatever. And it'll match the color of the buttons and stuff like that. So that was just something, this was just one of the samples I was given and I said, okay, this needs to be adjusted. So I got to keep the, the, the bad sample in a sense, but it's still amazing. Like the thing itself looks awesome. Um, to kind of go into detail about why the clothing is so cool and it kicks butt to any other clothing, uh, good guy clothing you've ever seen is um, the sweater. It's not actually technically a sweater, it's called a textile fabric. So it's actually how a fabric of, you know, it's kind of like how your t-shirt, you know, if you have a cotton t-shirt like this, um, there's different threads that wolf together to, you know, basically make up the shirt. And that's what's basically going on with this shirt. So it's just multiple colors building up, you know, what the shirt is. So it's a, it's a very difficult process. And in China, we were able to make that process happen. So you actually have real textile in there. Then we have the overalls, which are custom dyed blue corduroy. And it kind of looks dark in this lighting. And believe me, when you get it, it's the perfect, the most perfect blue I've ever seen on good guy overalls, okay? And trust me when I say that. Another cool thing, is we got the factory to do the baseball on top. So it's actually, um, how I had the template set up was that the baseball would be right here and then there's the warrior helmets or the the uh, army helmets here. And that that's how it was in the first Child's Play film. So the continuity of where the, the icons were are consistent. So on the dolls, you'll actually have like this baseball here, which I think is so cool. Um, He's got Velcro in the back that goes on the back. He's got Velcro straps, so the straps come out. Um, so it was kind of funny. Um, I've seen some wardrobes from the first Child's Play film, and I owned one of them. And um, it, it, there's some of the wardrobes that actually have Velcro in the front, and then there was some that had Velcro in the back. So it was a mix of two, but we ended up doing just the Velcro in the back um, for that. And then the shoes are pretty cool. You can kind of see the detail on the soles are really well done um, and then you know you can see that you know really well made the little shoelaces he's got um, you can see the printings in the shoelaces and stuff and then just again I'll look at the face it looks so weird in this video it looks like it's almost distorted <laughs> but it trust me it's it's legit it, it all looks good in person so um, again, I'll be in Chicago this weekend. I mean, if you're watching this video a year or two from now, I mean, that's over. But just to kind of give you guys an update of what is coming, it's from if you guys are interested in getting a doll like this, go to trickortreatstudios.com and pre order yours. Or if by now you can just buy it. I don't know when you're, again, I don't know when you're watching this video, but. I recommend getting one. You're getting such a great value. Just knowing, like I've built handmade ones here at my shop. Just knowing how much labor and material costs go into these things, you are getting one hell of a deal with this. So definitely go and get one. Order one now. Trickortreatstudios.com, all right? Have a good uh, night or day or whatever time you're watching this video, okay? Take care, everyone.